this thing's cool. You said it's made in Japan? Yeah, it's a Japanese pinball machine. It's called a Pachinko. Wow, that's sweet. How does it work? Here, let me turn it on. It's got lights. Whoa. All you do is flick this lever. Hey, Daryl, what's up? Whoa, jackpot. Oh, sweet. What, are we messing with vending machines now? I got a real urgent problem I need you to look at right now, so why don't you come outside? Whoa, 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 Jesse! Can't you see I'm with a customer right now? What? This guy? I don't see him spending any money. Looks real important. Come on, I got 50 cleanups to do by noon. Guess I'll skate on out of here. This guy's more important than me anyway. I was gonna buy this beautiful unit, but I guess I'll just get one online. Oh, 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 oh wait a minute, sir, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right, babe. You don't make any money standing around flapping your gums. You just cost me a sale. And who's this guy? One of your helpers? What, you don't know this guy? You don't know who this guy is? Come on, Terrell, don't you know who I am? No, sorry, not ringing any bells. I've been in here a hundred times. When I work for Green Lawn, Green Lawn Pros, Green Grass, Green Grass Pros, Pro Grass, Professional Grass Pros, Pro Cuts, Green Cuts, Green Cuts with a Z, Yard Pros, Pro Yards, Mike's Landscaping, Stephen Mike's Landscaping Pros. I think there's a few more, but I can't remember. You didn't even mention what you're most known for. Tell them. Oh, yeah. I was a chainsaw guy at Reaper's Haunted House. Two years in a row. That might be where you know me from. Uh, not really. Sounds to me like you work for everybody in town. And even a couple other towns. Yeah, I busted my butt for these companies. But when you're the best, nobody wants to pay. Gotta find other options. Wow, Jesse. Sounds like you got yourself a real solid worker here. Full of lots of experience. Oh yeah, go get that blower out of the truck. Who, me? Yeah, that's what I'm paying you for, babe. Come on, let's go. Come on, move it. Wasting time here. So what happened to this blower? Chainsaw guy ran it over this morning. Of course, that was after he backed my truck into a dumpster. I tell you, good help's hard to find, Terrell. If he keeps costing you money, why do you keep him around then? Cause he's Chainsaw Guy at Reapers. You ever see him perform? Oh, you gotta go and see him. It's like working with a freaking celebrity. Sorry, Jesse. I went to get the blower and the weed eater jumped out in front of me and broke. Ah, well, take that up to him too. I guess we'll have to get that fixed. You're lucky a Chainsaw Guy. Pterodactyl here. Today's how-to video is going to be on this here Honda EU 6500IS generator. So if you got one of these generators and it's cranking hard and got no sparks, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with it. Now come over here, Mr. Cameraman. This thing's got a rope start on it. Now watch when I go to start it. Look at me pull. I can't get this thing to pull over. It's like there's something wrong with the engine. Like the engine's locked up or something. Well, it's not the engine. It's this. It's the inverter. I know, you're going, what? This is a non-serviceable part. This thing is very expensive. This is what's wrong with this generator. That's why it's got no spark and why it's really hard to pull. It's like it's under a load. The inverter is under here, so we need to remove this cover. So you wanna take the key out if your key is tethered. And then a 12 millimeter socket. You're gonna pull these bolts out on either side. And then a 10 millimeter, you're gonna take out this bolt. And there's another one on the other side, just like it. 
and then this assembly will come off. Pinch those up. Then there's two 10 millimeter nuts down here. And there's your cover off. And there's the inverter. So there's usually a zip tie right here that's got this zip tied together, but it looks like somebody had been in here or might have broke off. So you're going to have to take that off. Sometimes you can release it by sticking a little screwdriver in there or you could just simply cut the zip tie. And then we need to disconnect these wires, push them down. That one you got to lift up, the other ones you push down. And then you're going to need an extension. And then there's two more 10 millimeter bolts in here. And then this will this will lay back. Now if I disconnect these wires here, I can get this generator to start. So you're going to want to peel this up, and then there's a release tab you have to push on. That's the tab at the top. That's why you want to peel this back. It's easier to push on this. See how that works? Now by disconnecting this side here, this thing should start, but it's only going to run for a second and then it's going to throw a code and then it'll die out. That's how you test to make sure that this is a problem. See, we couldn't get it to start before. Remember how hard it was to pull when I was trying to rope start it? Let me turn it on. Watch how easy I can pull it now. flashing an overload alarm because I got this disconnected. So that's how you can test it. So now we're just going to go ahead and release the rest of these. Again you got to push on this one, push on that one, peel up this other one, do the same thing. Like I said it makes it easier to get at that release. Isn't that something? This thing's about $800. You can find them cheaper, maybe, maybe for six, but some places they're 800 bucks. But this generator's not cheap. So you're gonna need to steal these rubber grommets off of there. So push out that sleeve that's in the middle, and then you can get this out. And install it on the new one. And put those little sleeves back in there. You can put a little lubricant on them if you want. Not necessary, but maybe you want to. And just go ahead, 
and plug all your plugs back in. little things over the top, push them back down. And then there's three little nubs on the bottom. And they fit in those rubber grommets that are in the bottom of the generator. You can't miss them. They're down in there. You'll see them. Then if you want, you can go ahead and make these connections too while you got it got it in this position. Tuck it in there. Get your bolts. Make sure you got no wires pinched back there. Then go ahead and get yourself a zip tie if you want. And zip tie that back how it was from the factory. Try to tuck these in there nice. There we go. You can go ahead and zip tie that. It's really not necessary. Slide your cover on. Bottom one's on. Slide your handle back in. Then those little latches will kind of hold it for you. Now we can fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. Woo! That's all there is to fixing that expensive Honda generator with that expensive Honda inverter part. So, follow me, Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Ding, 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 ding. Go to our Terrell web store. Buy some Terrell apparel. You got to be wearing this when you're working on stuff. Or I'll see that you're not, and I'm going to chastise you. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! It's a shame. That's the only way to fix it. All right, Jesse, it's all ready to go. All right, Chainsaw Guy, fire it up. See if we're all good. <laughs> Don't look like you did a very good job fixing this thing. That ain't my fault. It broke because you don't know how to start it. I thought you had a lot of experience, Chainsaw Guy. I've never started one like this before. If I was you, Jesse, I'd get rid of this guy. I can see why he didn't last at any of them other places. Is that Chainsaw Guy from Reaper's Haunted House? Sure is. Wow, I thought that was...
was you. You scared the crap out of me last year. Literally. I had to start carrying a spare pair. Hey, can I get a selfie with you? Sure thing. Okay, great. <laughs> Say there's your dinner, Chainsaw there's Man. Your dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, quit checking around and throw a rope in this thing. We got a lot of stuff to do, all right? You know what? I don't have to take orders from you, Jesse. Why don't you take your crap and go somewhere else? What? That's how you're going to treat me and Chainsaw Guy? Well, fine. We're out of here. Grab that blower, Chainsaw Guy. Let's roll. We got time for this. Jeez, Pa. I can't believe you kicked out Chainsaw Guy. He's going to be extra scary at Reapers this year now because of this. I might have to bring a third pair. Well, Junior, that... Jesse is a pest, and that chainsaw guy is more trouble than he's worth. Sorry, Daryl. See what I mean? Come on, I've been in here a hundred times. When I work for Green Grass, Green Grass Pros, Lawn. Pro grass, professional grass grows. Pro grass, professional grass grows. Pro grass, professional grass. Pros. <laughs> Pro grass, professional grass grows. Pros. Pro cut, green grass cut. Yard pros, yards pro. Yard pro. Yard pros. Steve's landscaping, Steve and Mike's pro landscaping, Steve's landscaping, Steve and Mike's landscaping pros. I think there's a few more I can't remember. I can't believe you just kicked out Chainsaw Guy. I can't believe you kicked out Chainsaw Guy. He's gonna be extra scary at Reapers this year. Extra <laughs> scary. Cause he's Chainsaw Guy at Reapers. You ever see him in the one? <laughs> <laughs>